Hmm. Ooh. Check this out, guys. A Star Wars app. Nice. It can tell, wow, it can match the temperature of um, where you live with a planet in the Star Wars universe. That way you'll feel what it's like on that planet. I am totally downloading this app. <laughs> All right. Found it. All right. Yep, App Store. This app is not compatible with this device. Okay. No biggie. I have I have multiple devices. I'm sure I'll be able to download it. Turn that off. Okay. I just bought this tablet not too long ago, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to download it with this. Let me try to find it. Aha! Uh, your device isn't compatible with this version. It says it right there. Okay. So that one's out of the question. Alright. So that's two devices down. I'm going to try it on this one, an older tablet, but I've had this for a while, so if this don't work, which would be the third device, I'm going to call the Merc Man and I'm going to fly in, and he's going to fly into a psychotic meltdown. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Download it now. Yeah, right. Oh, 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 man. He is not going to be happy about this at all. Well, Mr. Bonkers, answer your freaking phone, you idiot. Of all the things I do for you, I... If I get a stupid answering machine, I'm gonna be mad. I try not to curse on my channel when I'm me. That's, you know, the PG version. Merc Man, any of your hands rated are... Oh, hey, hey! Hey, man, what's up? Look, I, I need you to come over right away. There's something that you just gotta see. Turns out you're right about the the apps, and I tried to download it on my devices and try to download it on your devices, and well, you'll see. Yeah, so I don't care about your porn. Just freaking download it. You can save that. Oh, you can save that crap. For, forget about the porn. Alright, bye. Oh, man. Get ready. Because uh, the Merc Man just gave me a message. Get ready for one wild ride.
Here comes the credits! Hello, mercenaries. Welcome to the twelfth episode of the Merkman Show. And I just stumbled across something. My buddy Anthony came to my attention. That is this thing. And I only got one thing to say. You sons of bitches! Motherfucking cocksucking pieces of shit! When you advertise a freaking app, I downloaded, I inspected the freaking download on at least one of three devices. I got three motherfucking devices. Why can't you just freaking. Ugh. I know why. I know we haven't come apart to any freaking, freaking, uh, uh, any freaking phone. You didn't bother to count. Go back to motherfucking school. How'd you get college degree for this shit? Because whoever gave you that degree is a fucking moron. I know why. Because you're too busy sucking other people's dicks to even care about the fans. Uh, you fucking assholes. You fucked it up. Why do you continue to do this, Disney? Why? Why do you continue to piss me off? Look. This is how all my friends and everybody else see Star Wars. That's how they see it. Here's how I see it. What in the dick is this going on? I own the Death Star. I own Tatooine. It's all mine. Evil corporate CEO Mickey. Fuck's sake. Really thought they freaking learned their little fucking lessons. Appears they didn't even freaking listen. In case of what you're wondering, I'm preparing the sports re report for you guys. I promise I do sports and. And that was the credits, so um, when I evolve the show, it'll grow. I'm trying my best to stay positive, guys. I really am. But this, you gotta understand my fucking frustration. I can't believe this shit. I was gonna make, you know, Star Wars Battlefront Beta came out. I'm gonna do a quick review on that. 
And I thought it'd be fun to find this app and give a review on it. But how the fuck am I supposed to review an app if I can't download the motherfucker? Like I said, next time you make an app, Disney, make sure you know what number of phones are bought the most. Because you guys are Disney. You're just really starting to piss me off with Star Wars. And let me tell you, I made a freaking tally of what they did wrong and what they did right. What they did right was make some new movies coming out. Bringing back the old cast like Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, Chewbacca, R2-D2, C-3PO, Millennium Falcon, X-Wings, they're all freaking back. They got that right. Buying back Star Wars from Dark Horse and bringing it back to where it should belong in the first place, Marvel Comics. They did that right. And then Star Wars Rebels. There it is right there. Get a good long look at it. Alright, and here's the wrong situation. So let's see, what they have right is one, two, three, four, five, six. No wait. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five, not six, five. Here's what they did wrong. Setting down Lucas Arts, which means 1313 got cancelled. Clone Wars cancelled. Remove story mode and space battles from Battlefront. Instead, they put it in Disney Infinity 3.0. You're missing story mode and, and space battles. Get Disney Infinity, you'll be able to play it. Making Boba Fett figure exclusive, and I know you guys are getting sick and tired of me bitching about this, but you have no idea how much that shut me off. But making Boba Fett exclusive to PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. And useless apps like that. And the worst one of them all. Erasing the Star Wars Expanded Universe. There are some awesome characters you should have kept around. Like Myra Jade Skywalker, Kyle Katarn. They were all awesome. I'm glad you guys are kind of thinking about bringing back Darth Revan. But, you know, Erasing the EU was just plain old stupid. You know, made me damage my comic book almost. So, because of that, get this shit out of the way. Because of that, for that Star Wars app. I'm going to come back over here. The lighting didn't mess up the camera so badly. So, because of that, now I'm thinking I might actually stay over here instead of standing up. I don't like that light there. Anyways, back to it. Brad that app. I can't review it. Therefore, congratulations whoever made that freaking app because you just made Merkman history. I'm giving it a complete zero out of five. Uh, zero out of five. Because I can't download the motherfucking thing. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate comments and all that other shit. But you got to understand my frustration. I'm passionate about Star Wars. So is Anthony. He can look at his freaking room. He's got Star Wars pen, pen, uh, products or or uh, paraphernalia. I, oh wait, that's that's drugs. Oh, but he has a bunch of Star Wars merchandise on that wall. Up, he's got a bunch of merchandise up the ass. And if that doesn't say how passionate he is, then I don't know what does. First Force Friday, and now this shit. So that Star Wars app gets a zero out of five. Bring it to less 
bring it to more capable mobile devices, then then maybe I'll give it a four out of five, four out of five, or a perfect five out of five. But until you do that, it's gonna be a zero out of five. You gonna do it? All right, let's see. I'm waiting. Fuck no, you're not gonna freaking make some more freaking apps for more uh, mobile devices, especially a new one like this. Freak no. You're not. I've never in my entire life had a Merkman episode like this. Merkman episode that so freaking pisses me off beyond all recognition. It's P bar instead of Boo bar. It's P bar. Pissed beyond all recognition. And speaking of which, let's get to reviewing the Star Wars Battlefront beta. Now this is a beta, so I'm going to forgive it, but there's some stuff they can improve on. And that is, when you're in a vehicle, say the walker, and when you're flying around, the aim is just a little off. You may look perfectly down the sight, aim right on the guy's head, but instead you end up shooting at the freaking heart. Instead of the head, even though you have the aiming reticle at the head, it like suits underneath them. It's like you guys are kind of obsessed with groin shots. And so, however, um, before I get the good stuff, let's get the bad stuff out of the way. Like I said, no space battles. Now there is the online mission mode, and there is only one online mission mode, and that was the survival mode. Where you play as a rebel soldier and you have to survive at least five waves of stormtroopers. Which wasn't bad and here's the disappointing thing. When I saw the brief cutscenes, which is stupid. Stupid cutscene, it made no sense whatsoever. But you're a rebel soldier who just wakes up and then your partner goes, Come on, come on, we gotta go! And believe it or not, that cutscene was gorgeous! The best graphics I've ever seen in any cutscene. You guys had potential to make a campaign mode. You had potential. You know what? You could have done so much more. But nope, you guys had to pay attention to the surveys. That more people play multiplayer than campaign. Well, guess what? Most gamers play the campaign. And they still, still love the game. And they can want to get to enjoy it, and they still want to play it, and therefore they move on to multiplayer after they beat the campaign. And it ain't just because they just buy it just for the freaking multiplayer. They they can also buy it for the story mode, the campaign mode. It doesn't take a freaking rocket scientist to figure this out. And also the Walker Assault mode that was available. There's another like capture the pods, which that one was actually better than the Walker Assault mode. <coughs> And here's why. Every time you're the Rebels, you got your ass handed to you on a silver platter. However, when you're the Empire, you won every freaking time. Why? Because you had those walkers that are nearly dying invincible. And this makes no sense to Star Wars canon whatsoever. I can't believe you guys are going to count this as canon because in my opinion, it's not. Okay, in the game, you have to signal Y-Wing bombers... To bomb those um, at at walkers, those four legged walkers, and then you get into a vehicle. And guess what? You don't get your choice of the vehicle. You're either stuck with an A wing, an X wing, or a snow speeder. When really you need the freaking snow speeder to tie the, the rope around those walkers. Because that's the only way to freaking defeat it. And why do you need the Y bombers? They were not there on the battle hoff in the movie. What were you thinking, EA? Do your fucking research. But yeah. And I came close. I had the option to... Uh, I was in the, sp uh, the snow speeder. And I had the option. I nearly won it for the Rebel Alliance. But nope, you guys had to have a fucking time limit. 
And, and those Y bombers, they take up most of the freaking time limit. The Y bombers is unnecessary. Why do you add those stupid ships in there? And not to mention, they're not even freaking pilotable. They, they're not flyable at all. They're not a vehicle that you cannot control. Why did you include that shit? So far, I'm kind of disappointed with it. Now, let's move on to the good things. The graphics are amazing. They are. They, they're the best graphics I've seen. Better than the freaking Force Unleashed graphics. And those are pretty darn good. You know, but it's kind of... I'm kind of having a flashback of Force, Un Force Unleashed 2. Force Unleashed 2, the story made no sense. It sucked. And the gameplay was way too easy. But the graphics were gorgeous. You know, I had to give... If I made the Merkman show a long time ago when that came out... I would have gave Force Unleashed a perfect 5 out of 5. And then Force Unleashed 2... A 3 out of 5. Just because it was so freaking easy and so short. I kid you not. It's so short that you basically... It basically is a Star Wars movie. A playable Star Wars movie. That's the exact length of it. You'll beat that game within half a day. Because you're practically invincible in that game. You're way too freaking powerful. Which makes no sense to consider you're a clone. Now, Force Awakens, the, fir the Force Unleashed game, the first one made sense. It made canon, or it was canon. You know, it fit really well. It talked about how the Rebellion got started and what inspired the Rebellion. It was great. But you guys made that cartoon, which, believe it or not, is actually pretty good. Making The Force Awakens not canon. However, they might make Star, Star Killer canon. They, that, but that's a small might. But I'm not sure about the Geno Eclipse or... Or, uh... What's the crap? Uh, fuck, I can't think of his name because I'm so pissed off. But, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Ron Coda, Ron Coda. Yeah, him. But, uh... But anyways, back to Battlefront. Um, yeah, gorgeous graphics. Uh, the gameplay is fun. It, don't get me wrong, it is fun. You, when you take control of a hero, like I only played as one hero one time. And that was Darth Vader, and I killed. I took out like six guys all at once. They all ganged up on me. I killed every single one of them. By the time I was done, I only had two health points left. <coughs> so, and I do love the fact that you can refill your health because in the old Battlefronts, I really hated going to those stupid droids to refill your ammo and health. In Battlefront, you don't have to worry about that. Just take some cover, your health will refill. I'm guessing your guy is kind of applying first aid to himself, even though he can't really see it. Um, you can choose between first and third person mode, and I chose first person mode, but I'm sure most people chose third person, because, yeah, you can see a lot more around you and all that, but I love immersive things. I love immersive storylines where you're in the shoes of that person. But, uh, yeah, um, but, yeah, the, um, crap, I'm so pissed. But, anyways, uh, yeah, I like immersion, uh, storytelling and all that. Of course, there was no story mode in it, but, you know, you guys know what I mean. You feel like you're fair. And, you know, have given you the option between first and third person. It works well, except I wish them two-legged... ATST Walker was in first person mode, but that's stuck in third person. The heroes are stuck in third person. I was kind of hoping the heroes would have a first person mode, especially Boba Fett, considering his main weapon is a gun. Uh, like Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, I can understand, but Boba Fett, he can be in first person mode. He'll be no better than the soldiers that you play as. Now, here's what Battlefront has done wrong. And that is, oh, and also you get infinite ammo and give it plus for that. You know, your gun just overheats because it's a laser gun. You know, it's, a, it's in the freaking future. You don't have to worry about lasers. But here's what they got wrong. It's, it's self-sided and they just picked the worst modes for the beta. I kind of wish they picked like the more fun modes like, like the, like the droids, fighter squadron. Uh, the, the heroes versus villains and missions. 
you know, and then make that other stuff available for the game, but this is a beta. I understand it's a demo, and therefore I'm going to be a bit more forgiving. Otherwise, I would have gave this a 2 out of 5, but um, since it's a beta, for a beta, I give it a 3 out of 5, but um, and, but if it wasn't a beta, and, if, and it acted like this, then I would give it a 2 out of 5, so I'm hoping EA watches this and fix some of the details of it. You know, fix the aiming. Um, and also, you couldn't customize your character. For some odd reason, I was stuck as a freaking woman. A woman. Means I had a vagina. Yeah, a woman. Even when I was a freaking stormtrooper, I can hear her go, Call in air support. Oh, that's freak. Oh, no, I broke a nail. Yeah, even when you're a stormtrooper, I was a woman. And there's no customization in the beta. I'm hoping the customization option is a lot better in the full game. And also, you couldn't choose your side. The game chose for you. You took turns as Rebels and Empire. I prefer to stay on the Empire side. I, I picked a winning team. Because that's me. I ain't stupid. Okay, I am stupid. But, you know what I mean. I like to choose the winning side. Like an indoor, I want to side with the rebels, you know? I'm a, mer I'm a mercenary, I don't take sides. Besides, I'll be trying my best to play as Boba Fett anyways, and I won't really be in much of the maps other than fighter squadron, because I look, the vehicles are, or you know, they, they look good, but they need to really improve on the flight controls. That's another thing. Improve on the flight controls, guys. Uh, you know, I was kind of hoping it would be like the last game, but it wasn't, you know? I was hoping that you would be in constant motion. This one would slow you down, and if you let go, you would speed back up to normal speed, and then the, you would hold down that button, it would boost you up, let go, and you'll go back to normal speed. I was hoping for that, but no. Nope. This thumbstick controls the speed, and it stays that way. Like, if you push up, it stays up. If you push down, your thing stays down. And your other stick is what you move up and down, left, right. And then to do a base of rolls is the... Here, I'll still you. Yeah. Evasive maneuvers. Controlling the... Controlling the spacecraft. Controlling the throttle of the spacecraft. Believe it or not, guys, I actually kind of feel better now that I've vented. Normally, I don't do these kind of videos where I just flip out, but you gotta understand my frustration. Well, that's it for reviews. I... Give the Star Wars app a 0 out of 5. And I give the beta a 3 out of 5. And I'm hoping Star Wars Battlefront, the real full game, will kick it up a notch and I can give it a 4 out of 5. And the only thing stopping it from getting a 5 out of 5 is no space battles and no campaign mode. EA's being, being kind of freaking lazy. They are saving that shit for DLC, which I agree with Boogie2988. And Angry Joe that ant microtransactions and DLC are getting way out of hand these days. Alright, so that's it for reviews. Now it's time for Who's Got the Balls with Sports. And again, I don't know much about sports, guys, so I have to look it up on this tablet here. Uh, okay. Fuck. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Things I do for a wider audience. Alright. Okay. This is um, baseball here. Braden, game five. What the? Why do you always change shit when I'm freaking reading? It's dumb. Alright, that cave. Stupid! Oh, I'm reading from the ESPN site, and guess what? ESPN is owned by Disney. Alright, Robin Murphy's heroic proto meets the NLCS at the plate and on the base paths. Daniel Murphy was at was the catalyst in Game Five as the Mets got just enough of offense of Zach 
Grinky to eliminate the Dodgers and move on to the NLCS. All right, this is uh, NFL. TE stars as Saints roll. Hands Falcons first loss. The Saints went to tight end Benjamin Watson often. The veteran, <coughs> excuse me, the veteran had a career night with 10 catches for 127 yards and a touch. When I finally discovered what TD means, it stands for touchdown. Uh, thank you um, uh, for my friends at work for clearing that up for me. And anyways. Scored 127 yards and a touchdown and dealt with Atlanta, its first loss after a 5-0 start. And here's um, back to baseball. Small, pro small progress seen in Ordoom's condition. Lamar Ordoom remained on life support and in a coma Thursday in Las Vegas Hospital. But as a close source to him told ESPN that he has continued to make small progress over the past 24 years. I don't know if this Lamar guy, what happened to him. I don't really, like I said, I don't really look up sports, but apparently he was, I guess he has some kind of accident. Uh, but anyways, um, Lamar Odoom, uh, my heart hats go off to you, man. I didn't realize you were like that or in that condition. So, um, and I apologize for the way the camera is changing color. I don't know why the fuck it's doing that. But anyways. I hope you get better, man. I really do. And that is this here thing from my heart. All right. Back to NFL. Watkins to Bills. You're making me look bad. Sammy Watkins was upset with his lack of targets, telling the Buffalo News this week that he and his agent told the Bills they were making him look bad after picking him fourth overall in 2014. Sounds like somebody's got a bug up their ass. Steve. Uh, the... Alright, and then here's the here's another basketball one. Two weeks out, Rose on shore about opener. Derek Rose wearing a new mask. <laughs> Love you already, Derek. As he continues to recover from a fractured lift orbital. Still isn't sure if he is ready for the bowls regarding season opener October twenty seventh against the Cavaliers. And that's it for, uh, that's it for Who's Got the Balls. And now we're going to move on to Dick of the Week. Because it's, it's, uh, I'm already going over, I'm already going over what my supposed to make. I'm supposed to make 30 minute long shows. This is already over. So let's get right to Dick of the Week. And that is, um, my buddy Anthony and other retail stores around the United States. They're dealing with a lot of theft at the moment. Let me make this clear with you guys. Theft is pretty damn stupid. It leaves a mark on your record. It shows whenever you get pulled over from a cop that it shows that you shoplift, you fucking idiots. And there's help, guys. There's help. Not just unemployment, but apply for freaking food stamps. Get a freaking lawyer, because guess what? You know, get on Social Security. Like Anthony. Alright? Get on Social Security. He, it took him about a year to get it, yeah, but, you know, he tried the first couple times. Try the first couple times on your own, and then get a lawyer. If it don't work, get a lawyer, because that's a, that is really how you're supposed to really freaking do it. And, once you get that lawyer, They'll help you out. And here's the cool thing about most lawyer cases. They, you do not have to pay them a penny unless they win your case for you. Most of them do that. Because, you know, if they lose your case, then they don't get any of that social security green that, um, that um, the crops of Uncle Sam. <laughs> that reminds me, I, I haven't smoked pot in a while. Just for a record, Anthony doesn't smoke pot. I do. Um, but I'd say I'd smoke probably about, uh, no, I smoke so much I don't even remember it. I just remember buying, like, these big bricks from this, um, Mexican dude named Alfonso. He never gave me his full name. 
I don't even think he's a real dude. I think he's like an alias. So any cops watching this, good luck trying to find him. Because even I don't know what the freak his name is. I remember, disclaimer message at the beginning. It's fake. Anyways, uh, but like I said, Anthony, he's a completely innocent guy. He's he's the friendly guy. I'm the not so friendly guy. But anyways, it's not worth it, guys. And here's a tip. A really helpful tip aside from getting a lawyer and going to Social Security, applying for food stamps. Here's a tip. If you got no money, then don't go to the fucking store. Anthony made a video, a short vlog. Check it out on his channel, just Anthony Meyer. He made a quick, short vlog about shoplifting and theft and how ridiculous it truly is. And here's the thing, guys. This is my stash, by the way. In the medieval days, if you were a thief, they would cut your hand off. Just like this. Oh, motherfucker! I cut my hand off. Nice. Just let me kick that to the side. Yeah, nah. Uh, I'll tell Anthony to hire a maid to clean that up. Alright, so. They would cut off your hands. To assure that you didn't steal. That way you'd just be getting a little a little nub. You know. Like, holy crap. You know, you'd be cutting like this. You'd be cutting like, oh, how am I supposed to grab this freaking thing? Alright, guys. Well, I don't want this to be an hour-long video. Uh, so, I'm going to end it here. Um, but, anyways... Point, the main point is, this week's dick of the week is thieves and cunts. And whoever the fuck decides to steal, don't go to a freaking store if you ain't got no fucking money. And therefore, because of that, thieves are the dick of the week. Alright guys, um, that's it for the Merkman Show. Um, Anthony, he's going to try something new. Here's the exciting news real quick. He's actually going to begin live streaming on Twitch. He's going to begin today at 10 to 12 and then he's going to do it Saturday again 10 to 12 and I think he's going to have a special guest with him Saturday and um meaning he won't be playing the same game he'll play Friday uh let's just say it's an age restriction thing pussy but anyways uh yeah so he's going to do a live stream check it out his gamer tag uh hold on Here it is. I can't write with my one freaking arm. That's why I gotta hurry up. Ah, there we go. Hope that didn't mess up anything. Did it? I'll check it out later. Okay. Stupid hand. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I cut my hand off. Anyways, this is uh, his gamer tag right here. Uh, GamerFit425 or look up Scuba AJ Meyer, capital A, capital J, capital M, Meyer25. Either one of those, write that down and you'll be able to see him. Alright guys, 
until then, uh, um, you know, don't take anyone's side. Pick a good contract, and I'll see you mercenaries again on the next Merch Man show. And don't forget to subscribe to become an official mercenary. All right, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys next week for the next Merch Man show. Anthony, I need another ride to the hospital. And for once, it is not my penis that I chopped off. Impressive, right? It's my hand. I guess you could say, I need a hand.